Good morning. It's Monday, January 20th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, As You Go, and our scripture is Acts chapter 8. As for Philip, an angel of the Lord said to him, Go south down the desert road that runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under the Kandake, the queen of Ethiopia. The eunuch had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and he was now returning. Seated in his carriage, he was reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. Philip ran over and heard the man reading from the prophet Isaiah. And Philip asked, Do you understand what you're reading? The man replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. The passage of scripture he had been reading was this, He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. He was humiliated and received no justice. Who can speak of his descendants, for his life was taken from the earth? The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, was the prophet talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this same scripture, Philip told him the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop, and they went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Meanwhile, Philip found himself farther north at the town of Azotus. He preached the good news there and in every town along the way until he came to Caesarea. Of the conundrums that Christians face, one of the more perplexing is why sharing the good news of Jesus is so difficult. I know, and I've used, all the common excuses— I'm not trained. I'm not an evangelist like Philip. Oh, she wouldn't have listened. Uh, I thought he was already a believer. At the end of the day, excuses are not reasons. They're merely attempts to justify our fear of rejection or lack of faith. While I must plead guilty to putting faith sharing on the back burner too many times with too many excuses... There have been those other encounters of trying to help someone find a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. When I think about the times I bailed on an opportunity and the times I actually put my fear or feeble faith on hold and opened my mouth, the difference is always the issue of getting started. How do you break the ice and have a conversation about Jesus? Well, When you take a hard look at Philip's encounter with the man in the chariot, you find the simplest of approaches. It was a chance encounter, Philip hearing the man read scripture aloud. The Holy Spirit prompted Philip to walk alongside the chariot. The bold encounter began with a simple question. Have you figured out what you're reading? (laughs) The man was already searching for answers. God just brought Philip to the equation with some quite wonderful news that the answers were in Jesus. Now the icebreaker was that Philip was willing to be available near somebody who needed Christ, and he was willing to listen to the man's need. There's no secret ingredient to being a faithfully obedient witness other than faith that Jesus knew what he was talking about when he told his disciples that they would be his witnesses, starting in Jerusalem and spreading around the world. It turned out to be true in the first century, and it is so in this century. For you today, if you're a believer in Christ, you're also a witness. If you want to be an obedient witness, Begin praying today for God to be glorified through your witness. But as you pray, be willing to be like Philip. Be ready to be near somebody who needs to hear and willing to listen so that you'll hear the Holy Spirit's prompting and the needs of the one God puts in front of you. When you allow your heart to be broken for the needs of someone else to know God and share in his blessings, you'll know the right words to say. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.